But the mission of Good Shepherd Food Bank is to address those facing um, hunger or food insecurity in the state of Maine. In 2014, Good Shepherd Food Bank distributed more than 21 million pounds of food. In 2015, we did 22 million pounds of food. And in 2016, we're projected to do close to 24 million pounds of food. Everyone benefits from safety, but especially for employees um, here at Good Shepherd, we don't want anyone to have to miss time from work. Um, the cost of retraining somebody to temporary fill a position when an employee is out is substantial. And that really impacts our partner agencies across the state and our ability to get food to the people in need. So we really have embraced a, an understanding that safety is not just because we have to to keep our insurance premiums down, but because it really helps further the mission of Good Shepherd Food Bank. We use a lot of large equipment. Um, we handle food, so we have to deal with food safety all the time. And uh, we deal with a volunteer workforce for a large portion of what we do. Um, so we have to spend a lot of time training, developing, and making sure that we're not putting anyone at risk that's not familiar with a warehouse operation. Ten years ago, we did a lot of things, uh, manual labor. Um, we had a lot less equipment. We didn't have the right equipment. Uh, we, up until three years ago, we were unloading tractor trailer trucks at locations throughout the state by hand. Um, now we have power equipment, we have lift gates on our trailers, um, we've created new workstations throughout the building, throughout all our warehouses so that we're not injuring staff. Um, we use Mimic to help us with ergonomic evaluations when we do these changes and uh, we really put a lot more energy into thinking ahead of time so that if we're going to change something, what's it going to look like and uh, our staff going to be able to work there comfortably. This is a working warehouse. We do have people that are running on forklifts, on uh, other machinery and their primary business here is to move product. Uh, they are looking out for people around them. Uh, we also have uh, moving conveyor belts. Just this week I spoke with a volunteer making sure that her loose clothing wasn't going to be in the way of the conveyor belt. Individual safety as well as entire warehouse safety is primary concern. Probably in the last three years we really put our heads together and said what is going well and what's not going so well. And we created an itemized checklist really of what we could do to increase the safety. And some of those things were getting more communication out to employees, having consistent training programs, making sure that employees aren't allowed to operate any machinery that they're not certified on, making sure that they understand how to use safety cutters properly, making sure that they've got undergone ergonomic training in their first week of employment and then annually thereafter. Uh, we had these heavy workstations with lift gates that we used to lower and raise all the time. Uh, people were pinching fingers, they were hurting their shoulders, they were working at an uncomfortable posture and uh, we decided we needed to make something different. We used to only be able to employ or put eight people in that area working safely, and now we can put up to 20 volunteers in that area at a time, and it really spreads the workload out and makes an enjoyable experience for them. 